Hi there, I'm Caroline here in Las Vegas, Nevada, here with another class for you all to keep your yoga practice going when we're stuck at home. So this class will be another vinyasa yoga sequence. It's going to be a little bit more advanced. We'll be incorporating some arm balances, a lot of twists, some more challenging transitions. So just know that there are different stopping points. You can take every single one of these postures too. So if you get something that feels a little overwhelming, just take it a step back or give it a try. Um, a lot of these are nice because there are progressions in this flow. So you can actually work on it over the course of the next couple weeks. And hopefully by the end of the couple weeks, it'll all seem a little bit easier. Um, it'll be around 60 minutes. I won't really know until I'm done teaching the class. So whatever it said at the beginning of the video is how long it is. And finally, if you enjoy these classes and um, you appreciate the ability to get these classes online um, during your time stuck at home, feel free to contribute or donate at paypal.me slash carolinefitness. I really appreciate everyone who's contributed so far. Um, it's just nice to know that you guys all appreciate these videos. So keep them coming. As always, if you film yourself doing these classes or take any pictures, post them. I'll repost them on my Instagram at spin.vin.yin. And with that being said, let's get started. So we will start on our back in Supta Baddha Konasana. So lay all the way down on your mat. And bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open to the side. So finding a butterfly shape in your legs. You can allow your arms to go to a few different places. That might be down by your sides. It might be one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Maybe two arms back behind your head, grabbing opposite elbows. Wherever you choose to go, just start to tune in with your breath. Start to arrive in this room on your mat. Let go of your morning, let go of your afternoon, your evening, let go of your week. For this next bit of time on your mat, really give yourself permission to focus in on your mind and your breath and your body. Notice your breath. If it's moving more into your ribs or your belly, maybe it's more into the front of your body, maybe the sides. And see if you can start to deepen your inhales and exhales. See if you can breathe in for a little longer or make it take just as long to breathe out. And here we'll actually start to channel our ujjayi breath early on in this practice. So seal your lips, start to breathe in and out through the nose, create a little constriction at the back of the throat, kind of like you're fogging up a mirror with your mouth closed. I encourage you, especially in this practice, to not be shy about your breath. There's probably not a lot of other people around, so this is your chance to breathe loud. Take about four big ujjayi breaths here. And really let it start to heat your body up from the inside out. Final breath. Gently blink your eyes open, bring your hands to the outsides of your knees and draw them together. Then draw both knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug for a moment, rock side to side. Maybe make little circles with your knees, just mobilizing, allowing your body to feel the pressure of the back into the mat. And from here, allow your arms to come out to the sides in a capital T shape, palms will be down. And find a tabletop position in the legs. So we want knees directly out from the hips, 90 degree bend. Take an inhale here, and then waking up the core a little. As you exhale, let both knees fall towards the left side of your body with control. So keep pressing your right shoulder down. Inhale, draw them back up to center. That extra challenge is maybe hovering the knees. As you exhale, let them go over to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale over to the left. 
Maybe a little more challenge, straighten your top leg. Bend your top leg and inhale, draw them back to center. Exhale, over to the right. Maybe straighten your top leg. Bend your top leg. And inhale back to center. One more round. Exhale, carry it over. Maybe straighten both legs. And bend them. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the right. Maybe straighten both legs. Maybe bend. And inhale back to center. From here, bring your hands underneath the legs and start to rock and roll forward and back on your mat. Moving through the whole length of your spine. It can be fun. You can gain a little bit of momentum here if it feels good. And after about your third or fourth round, you'll cross your legs underneath you, roll over your shins and come to a tabletop position, recentering yourself on your mat. We'll move right into our cat and cow from here. So make sure the wrists are right under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Find a long neutral spine. Then as you inhale, drop your belly, bring your gaze high, open through the chest. This is your cow pose. And exhale, press through the palms, scoop through the belly. This is your cat. Inhale, drop the belly, bring the gaze high again, expand through the collarbone. And exhale, press through the palms, tuck your tail, press even your shins into the mat. Feel your legs activate. Two more rounds. Inhale, drop the belly, bring the gaze high. Exhale, press through the palms, tuck your tail. Final round, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, press through the palms, scoop. Come back to a neutral spine, so flatten out your back. Reach your right fingertips forward, left leg back. So find a long line from your fingertips down to your left heel. Take an inhale here, stabilize through the core. As you exhale, touch your elbow to your knee, so find a crunch underneath you. Inhale, extend everything long. Exhale, find that crunch again. Really press the floor away from you with your left hand. Inhale, extend everything long. Exhale, find your crunch. Inhale, extend everything again. This time, bend your back leg. Reach back with your right hand. Grab the inside of your foot. Start to kick into your hand as you inhale. Really expand through the chest. You might feel a stretch through your right shoulder, the front of your left leg. That oppositional force is what keeps us balanced here. One more breath. On your next inhale, gently release, extend everything long. And exhale, hand and knee come back to the mat. We do the same thing other side. So reach your left fingertips forward, right leg back. Take an inhale to stabilize. And exhale, find your crunch. Inhale, extend everything long. Exhale, crunch again. Inhale, extend everything long. Exhale, find your crunch. Then inhale, extend, bend your back leg, reach back with that hand, kick into it. So really find that grip, that oppositional balance of hand to foot, foot to hand. Open up through the chest, it's that little back bend here. Then inhale, extend everything. Exhale, hand and knee come back to the mat. From here, tuck your toes. On your next inhale, lift your knees just two inches off the mat, hover. So you'll feel those low abs engage. I want you to press the floor away from you, really dome through the shoulders here. One more inhale. As you exhale, let your knees come down. Inhale, lift and again. Hover, hover, hover. Find a tiny curve of that tailbone. And exhale, knees come down. Final time this way, inhale, lift those knees. Now this time around, as you exhale, I want you to lift your right foot, draw your right knee to your left elbow. So we find a little twist as we exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Find that little twist, you'll pivot on the ball of that other foot. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, knees come down. We're gonna do that again. So, recenter those feet. Inhale, lift those knees off. As you exhale, it's right knee to left elbow. Find that pivot. Inhale, back to center, switch feet, and exhale, pivot the other way. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, knees down. From here, those toes are still tucked, just send your hips high, find a downward dog. So first down dog of the day, pedal out the feet, find whatever feels good here. Bending one knee at a time, maybe bending both knees, finding some length in the backs of your legs. 
And from here, let both heels sink down towards the floor for a minute, and a few checks in these first down dogs. I want you to activate your hands, so press your palms and all ten fingers into the mat. Engage your triceps, then feel your shoulders lengthening, that whole back of your body lengthening. Engage your low abs, knit your ribs together, and send your tailbone nice and high. Now from here, inhale, lift both heels off the mat, let them twist over to the right, and exhale, lower your heels. So creating a little spinal twist here. Both shoulders are still square to the floor. Inhale, back to center, lift your heels, and exhale, both heels go the other way. So find that same little twist. Both shoulders are still square forward. Inhale, back to center again. Exhale, both heels lengthen towards the floor. Remember, it's okay if they don't touch. You can even have a little bend in those knees if it's more comfortable for you. And now bring your gaze forward. Start to walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. We'll end with hip width distance. Take a rag doll here. So bend your knees. Let your torso hang heavy over the thighs and really take a big bend in the knees here. So I want you to be able to relax through that lower back. You might take opposite elbows if that feels good. Maybe interlace the fingers behind the head. You can sway side to side, incorporate a little movement here. Let it be really fluid. Maybe shake the head yes to no if that feels good creating space in your spine as if you're stretching it out a little in between every single vertebra. And take one more inhale here. And exhale, gently release your arms from wherever they are. Keep that bend in your knees and start to roll up through your spine nice and slow. Once you get there, take a big shoulder roll up and back. Maybe adjust your clothes, whatever, do whatever you need. Then step your feet together underneath you. So we're finding our standing mountain pose, our Tadasana. So our legs root down into the floor. Toes are touching, heels slightly apart. Allow your arms to release down by your sides and engage your legs. So engage your quadriceps. Feel your belly button pull in and up. So as if you're lifting up through the low abs. And then feel your eyes close for a moment. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Allow your chin to bow. Set your intention for your practice today. So whatever it is that brought you to your mat, what you would like to focus on within your practice, no matter what it is that I end up getting. Whatever that intention is, let's seal it in with a breath. So take a deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Seal the lips, breathe in and out through the nose again. Recreate that ujjayi breath. Then gently blink the eyes open. We'll move into a modified Surya Namaskar A, Sun A from here. So as you inhale, reach your arms high. Let your gaze follow. As you exhale, take a forward fold, leading with your heart, working through that flat spine. Inhale, find a halfway lift. So that's that Ardha Uttanasana. Find that length through the crown of your head. Your hands can come to the shins or fingertips to the mat. And as you exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet back into a high plank. From here, inhale, shift your weight forward slightly, then lower your knees to the mat and lower in one piece all the way down to your belly as you exhale, hug the elbows into the belly. Once you're there, untuck the toes, inhale, baby cobra, lift just the top part of your ribs off the mat. Nothing changes in your arms, it's not a big press up to seal, we're just finding that top lift. Press the tops of your feet into the floor, maybe hover your hands off of the mat to strengthen the back of the body. One more inhale here. And exhale, release your chest down. Inhale, press through tabletop position. That's your hands and knees. Then exhale, tuck your toes, send your hips high, downward dog. Take two more full breaths here. Bring your gaze forward, travel your feet to the top of the mat, toes come to touch. Inhale, find a halfway lift, lengthen your spine and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Again, gaze follows. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Moving into a more traditional sun A. Inhale, sweep the arms high. This is our Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Then exhale, plant the palms, step back into a high plank. Slow this first time. Inhale, shift your weight forward, then keeping your knees off or letting them lower, we lower halfway down to the mat, finding chaturanga. So hug the elbows into the body, 90 degree bend in the arms. Inhale, pull your chest through, come to the tops of your feet, upward facing dog. 
Then exhale, send your hips high, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Two full breaths here. So the two versions we've done of that vinyasa are your two options within this practice. You can always skip that chaturanga upward and downward dog entirely and just move straight back to your down dog when you feel like taking a little break. From here, bring your gaze forward. Maybe take a little hop to the top of your mat. Toes come to touch. Inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, hands come to heart center. One more full round of sun A, a little bit faster. Inhale, sweep the arms high, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms, vinyasa. Step those feet back, lower into your chaturanga, that's your exhale. Your inhale is your upward facing dog. And your exhale is downward facing dog. Two full breaths once you arrive. Bring your gaze forward, step or hop your feet to the top of the mat, toes come to touch. Inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky, and exhale, hands come to heart center. From moving into our sun B, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend those le knees, reach the arms up nice and high, sit nice and low in that chair. So here we find that slight weight shift back into the heels, maybe lift all ten toes off the mat, then ground them back down again. Make sure your low abs are engaged, so maybe a tiny tuck of the tail. Knit your ribs together, make sure we're not splaying through the front of the body. Take another inhale, sit yourself a little bit deeper. And exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms vinyasa. Maybe you float back to that chaturanga this time. Move through your breath, through that vinyasa. Once you reach your downward dog, inhale, reach your right leg high. Keep the hips square, so both hip points face towards the floor. As you exhale, step your foot through between the hands. Setting up for our warrior one, we ground our back heel down to the mat. Toes point towards the front left corner of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So bend nice and deep into that front leg. Pull your right hip back slightly. Feel the back edge of your left foot pressing into the floor, so that pinky toe side. Take one more inhale here. Maybe take a little bit of a back bend. And exhale, hands come down to frame that foot. Right foot comes back to meet the left. Vinyasa, move through your flow. Or just go back straight to downward dog, whatever feels good for you. From that downward dog, we go left. So inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through between the hands. Now that setup again is rounding that right heel down to the floor, toes point towards the front right corner. Inhale, reach your arms up, warrior one. So same check on this side. Pull that left hip back a little bit, right hip forward, and check that your shoulders are squaring towards the front as well. Take another inhale, open through the heart. And exhale, vinyasa. Hands come down to frame the foot, left foot comes back to meet the right. Move through your flow. Once you reach that downward dog, bring your gaze forward, float or hop, step to the top of your mat, toes come to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose again, bend nice and deep into those legs. As you exhale, we go right back down again, moving a little faster in this sun beat. Inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen, and exhale, vinyasa, flow it out, or just move right back to your downward dog. This is where we really warm up the body and prepare it for our next movements. From your down dog, inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, step through between your hands, back heel grounds down. Inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one, we're here just for the inhale. And exhale, vinyasa. Maybe you take a three-legged chaturanga this time, hovering that top leg. Whatever feels good to challenge yourself today. Moving into the left side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step through between the hands, back heel down. Inhale, reach the arms up, Virabhadrasana one, just for that inhale. And exhale, hands right back down, flow through. Maybe hover that back leg for a little extra challenge. Once you reach that down dog, let's take three full breaths here. Deep inhales, deep exhales.
final breath. Bring your gaze forward, bend those knees, step, hop, float to the top of the mat, toes come to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose yet again, bend those knees nice and deep, reach those arms high. This time as you exhale, bring your right arm back, left arm forward. So we're finding a little twist here, a little T-twist as I like to call it. Now make sure that that left knee and hip haven't crept forward. We're trying to pull it back so everything stays square. On your next exhale, reach your left hand to the floor, keeping your twist. Really hook that arm and open your body to the side. Now if that hand touches the floor, you can use it as a little bit more leverage. And that chest will come low, it might be resting on the thighs. Right now we're just really trying to open up the twist in our body, reach your right fingertips towards the ceiling. One more inhale here, one more exhale here. On your next inhale, untwist, bring your body back to center. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. So find that twist again. Take an inhale. As you exhale, right hand comes down to the outside of your left leg. You can hook that elbow around. Really expand through the chest, drop the hips low. One more round of breath here. Next inhale, come back to center. Sit a little deeper in that chair. And exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen. And exhale, vinyasa, plant those palms, move through your flow. From your downward dog, inhale, reach your right leg high again. Exhale, step through between your hands. Back heel grounds down just like before. Inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one. As you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. So keep your legs exactly where they are. Take an inhale, find some length through the spine. As you exhale, we revolve our warrior one. So bring your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Use this hand at prayer to really twist the body. Make sure as you do this, that right knee hasn't fallen inward. We want to press it outward against the elbow and elbow against the knee. That's our leverage here. Take one more inhale. See if you can lengthen your spine a little. As you exhale, see if you can twist a little bit more. Look towards that right shoulder. On your next inhale, unwind the body. Reach the arms high. Then exhale, warrior two. So you might need to create a little more distance between the feet. That back foot comes to that parallel to the back of the mat. We scan over those right fingertips, gaze over those right fingertips. Then inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach your right fingertips up and back. Find a deep side body stretch here, make sure you don't lose the bend in your right leg. As you exhale, extended side angle, that elbow comes to the knee, sweep the left arm across the body. Now keep your elbow at your knee this first version. We have a lot of chances for extended side angle in this practice, so take it shallow this first one. Imagine pressing your left rib cage down, right rib cage long. Find the strength in your right obliques. One more inhale here. Now as you exhale, look down towards your right foot. Let both hands come down to the floor inside of your right leg. Allow your left heel to come off the mat and your hips to drop low. Toe heel your right foot outward slightly, setting up for our lizard. So let your back knee come down, untuck your toes. And this might be enough for you right here. We'll be here again later in our practice. So this first one does not have to be at full depth. If you do want to take it a little deeper, you can come down to your right and left elbow, down on your forearms. Let's take about five full breaths right here. Final round of breath. If you were on your forearms, come back to your hands one at a time. Then toe heel your right foot back in between your two hands. From here, tuck your left toes, engage the leg so that kneecap comes off the mat. Next, inhale, reach your right fingertips high, drag and fly twist for simple twist. Press the floor away from you with that left hand. Feel a lot of activity in that left leg. So we want to lift through the back of the kneecap. From here, we find our side plank. So looking down towards your left hand, come to the outside of your left foot, come to stack your right side on top of left. Options here, you can stagger the feet, you can bring a knee down to the floor, 
If you want to challenge yourself, you can float that right leg. Wherever you are, take one more inhale, one more exhale. Next inhale, come as gently as you can to your high plank. And exhale, vinyasa, move through your chaturanga, upward and downward dog. Now we move right into that left side. So inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through between your hands, back heel grounds down. Inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Now check that your legs are really rooting into the floor. Take an inhale, find length in your spine. As you exhale, prayer twist over that warrior one. So right elbow comes to the left knee. Really spiral your body open. Find length through the crown of your head as you inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more. On your next inhale, gently unwind. Reach your arms up high. And exhale, warrior two. Capital T in the arms. Gaze over those left fingertips. Really root down through that left foot. Remember, left knee slightly outward so your abductors can engage. Inhale, flip your front palm. Reverse your warrior. Reach your left fingertips up and back. Deep side body stretch, but bend back into that left leg. One more inhale here. As you exhale, extended side angle. Again, shallow the first time. So bring your elbow to the knee. Sweep your right arm across the body. Look up towards that arm. Now notice if you can find length through the left side. You can do this by pressing the right side of the rib cage down, lengthening the left side of the rib cage forward. One more deep inhale here. As you exhale, right hand comes down towards that left foot. Other hand joins, setting up for our lizard. So back heel comes off the mat. Toe heel your left foot out, let your back knee come down, untuck the toes. This might be enough on this side, but if you came to your forearms on the first side, you can go for it here. So coming down one elbow, then the other. Just starting to get that feeling of lift in that front leg. That slight compression will come in handy later on. You have about four more breaths here. Final breath. Gently start to come back to your hands if you are on your forearms. Toe heel your left foot back in between your two hands. Tuck your right toes. Engage the legs so the kneecap comes off the mat. Right hand stays down. Inhale, reach the left fingertips high. Drag and fly twist. Knit the ribs together already. Feel that core engage. Imagine you're already in your side plank. That's how active that right arm is. Now from here, we do find our side plank. So shift your gaze down if you need to. Come to the outside of that right foot. Left side stacks on top. You maybe stagger those feet. Maybe you bring a knee down. Maybe you float a top leg. Lots of different options here. Take one more round of breath. Feel that strength through your right obliques. Next inhale, as gently as you can, come to your high plank. And exhale, vinyasa. Move through your flow. Let this vinyasa be your reset button. Let's take three cleansing breaths here in this down dog. So take a deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, open mouth. Final time, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Seal your lips, find your ujjayi breath again. From here, inhale, lift your right leg high. As you exhale, find a crunch knee to nose, so try to connect here. Inhale, shift to back, right leg lifts high again. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Maybe you take a chaturanga here, bending the elbows. On your next inhale, reach your right leg high again. Exhale, right knee to left tricep, really engage through the core. Then inhale, reach the right leg high one last time. And exhale, step through between the hands. This time, let your left heel stay off the mat and inhale, reach the arms up, finding your crescent lunge. So hips are dropped nice and low. We're lifting through the shoulders. Bend a little deeper into your right leg for one more inhale. And exhale, warrior two. We've been here before, so maybe you bend a little bit deeper into the leg. Inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Right fingertips reach up and back. 
Exhale, extended side angle. Start with that elbow to knee. Now we have a chance to go further. So from here, maybe you slide your hand down to the floor, finding that really long line from fingertips to the outside of your foot. From here, maybe we work into a bind. So allow your left hand to come behind your body. Hook that left hand into your right hip crease. If this feels pretty easy, maybe you reach your right arm underneath, shake hands with your left. If you have that bind, see if you can extend those arms, lift your rib cage up and off of the thigh. Find that strength here. This will come into play later on. One more round of breath. Gently release your bind if you have it. And inhale, come back up to your warrior two. Straighten through your right leg, bring both toes to face the side of the mat, then heels in. Inhale, reach your arms high. This is our star pose. Feel the legs rooting down into the mat. As you exhale, bend into your left leg, hands come to heart center. This is your skandasana. Now here you have options. Your side foot can flex. It can be planted flat. Hands can be on the floor. They can be at heart center. Find what works for you today. We'll take three full breaths here. Allow your hands to come to the floor if they were at heart center. Inhale, shift your weight just back to the middle. So both legs come straight. Make sure both sets of toes face the side of your mat. So you might need to pivot your feet. From here, hands come under the face. Inhale, find a halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Then as you exhale, allow yourself to fold forward, setting up for your prasarita. Hands will walk back slightly. Your fingertips will still be forward. Bend your elbows, send them through the legs, and allow your forehead to work towards, or front of the head to work towards the mat. It's okay if it doesn't touch. We're just focusing for that length of the spine here. Shift your weight slightly towards your toes. Engage your quadriceps. See if you can feel your hamstrings engage as well. So you're almost rolling the thighs backwards in this posture so that the tailbone can lift even higher. Take two more breaths here. On your next inhale, walk your hands back underneath your face. Find a halfway lift to lengthen. Bring your hands to your hips and then stand all the way back up again. Now keep your hands on your toes to face the front of the mat. Shift your weight so that your left toes face forward as well. Setting up for our pyramid pose here, make sure your feet are railroad tracks side to side. So we want to have about hip width distance. Now with this posture, sometimes two toes can point forward. I sometimes like to turn my back foot out just slightly to give a little bit more stability here. Once your hands are to your hips, pull your right hip back. So if it crept forward, draw it back and take an inhale, open through the chest. Now keep this length in your spine as you exhale, fold forward. Allow your hands to come to the mat. You can support yourself in a lot of different ways. If you have yoga blocks, you can bring them into play here, finding a little bit of extra length. If you're a little more flexy in the back of the leg, you can let your hands come down. Feel your collarbone reaching towards the toes. Maybe you walk your hands back a little bit. Maybe you point your fingertips to the back and again, find that length through the spine. Wherever you are, make sure that there's a micro bend in that right knee. So we're not sitting into hyperextension in that leg. Make sure your core is still strong. Take about two more breaths here. Inhale, gently walk your hands back forward again. Find a little bit of a half lift. Now as you exhale, bend into your right leg, slide your left leg back along the mat, finding a lunge. Let your back knee come down, untuck the toes, and inhale, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana. So we're dropping the hips nice and low, feeling a great stretch in the front of that hip. As you exhale, we find a half split. So hands come down to the mat, shift your weight to your left leg, straighten your right leg. Now here we want to imagine pulling our right hip up and back. So this is going to drag your right foot closer to your face. This is the act of squaring off our hips in this half split. So here, instead of curving over the leg, try to imagine reaching your collarbone towards the front of your mat. This is going to create more length in your spine. You can walk your hands back for a little more support if you want. 
checking that that back thigh is vertical here. Take about two more breaths. On your next inhale, start to crawl back forward into your lunge. Tuck your toes, engage the legs so that kneecap comes off the mat. Inhale, step your right foot back for a little extra challenge. Maybe hop your right foot over your left. So we're still in that one-legged plank. As you exhale, chaturanga, pull that chest down. Inhale, come to your upward dog. If you have those crossed legs, you can stay on your toes. Then as you exhale, send your hips high, uncross that foot, downward dog. Take three full breaths here before we go left. Final Ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, crunch, knee to nose. Find that contraction in the core. Inhale, reach the left leg high again. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Maybe find Chaturanga in the arms. Inhale, lift that leg high again. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Really cross it over your body. Then inhale, lift it high one final time. And exhale, step through between your hands. That back heel stays up so that you can inhale, reach the arms high, you're back in your crescent lunge. As you exhale, find your warrior two. Inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach the fingertips up and back, deep side body stretch. Then exhale, extended side angle. First coming elbow to knee. Now from here, if it feels good, you can slide down to that hand. Maybe you take your right hand behind your back to find a half bind. Maybe you hook your left hand underneath, finding a full bind. Wherever you are, if you have that bind, you reach your arms long, try to lift your rib cage off of the thigh. Look towards the ceiling if you can. One more round of breath. Gently release your bind if you have it. Inhale, come back up to standing, find that warrior two. Straighten out through that left leg, pivot the toes to face the side of your mat. From here, heels come in again, we find our star pose. So inhale, reach the arms high. As you exhale, stand off to the right leg, bend that right leg, shift your weight, finding whatever version you did on the first side. So that might be a straight side leg, it might be a flat foot, maybe flexed. Hands can be at heart center, they can be down on the floor, whatever feels good. You have three breaths. Final breath. If your hands are at heart center, gently bring them down to the floor. Inhale, shift your weight towards the middle. So coming to that prasarita again, both toes point forward. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. This time, take your two piece fingers, wrap them in and around the big toes so you have a bind. Once you have that bind, inhale, take another halfway lift. Exhale, pull with your arms. Again, crown of the head moves towards the floor. See if you can shift your weight slightly forward. Make sure the legs are active, thighs are rotating in and back. See if you can take two more full breaths here. Gently release your bind from your toes. Walk your hands back under your face. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Bring your hands to your hips and come all the way back up to standing. Now hands stay on the hips, pivot towards the front of your mat. So left toes point straight forward. We find railroad tracks with the feet. So make sure they're about hip width distance. If you found that slight in external rotation of your back leg on the first side, those right toes can point out a little bit. Now check that left hip. We want to pull it back slightly. Once you find that hip alignment, take an inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, reach through the crown of your head as you fold forward. From here, allow your hands to come to the mat, matching whatever you did on the first side. So if you walked them back, if you put them on blocks, whatever feels good, make sure that left leg has that micro bend so we're staying away from hyperextension. We have about three to four full breaths here.
On your next inhale, gently start to walk your hands forward. And then exhale, slide your foot back. So again, we found that link to then slide back. Let your back knee come down, untuck the toes and inhale, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana. Drop the hips down nice and low, reach through the heart. You have one more inhale. And exhale, half split, shift your weight towards that right leg. Flex the toes towards the face, pull your left hip up and back. So again, we're aiming to pull the left foot towards us by adjusting the hips. See if you can walk your hands back a little bit, lengthen your collarbone towards the front of the mat. Breathe, you have about five breaths here. On your next inhale, start to crawl yourself forward nice and slow. Tuck your right toes, engage so that leg comes off the mat. Bring your left leg back. Maybe you stack left leg over right for that extra challenge. Your next exhale is your chaturanga, so hug your elbows in. Inhale, pull your chest through, maybe tuck the toes still, upward dog. Then exhale, send the hips high, release the foot, downward dog. Take three full breaths here. If you need a cleansing breath to release some heat, feel free. We're going to take a modified version of this flow to take a couple postures up a level of difficulty. So remember, you can always go back one step if you need to. Take about one more breath here. On your next inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, crunch knee to nose. Find that connection. Inhale, reach your right leg high again. This time, exhale, right knee, right tricep. Here's your chance at running man. So you chat around there, those arms, maybe tuck your elbow underneath your hip bone. You lift your back leg off the mat by shifting the weight forward. Maybe you straighten that right leg. One more inhale here. Exhale, let that back leg land. Inhale, lift the right leg high. You're back in your three-legged dog. As you exhale, it's right knee to left tricep. This time, extend your leg, step that foot down. Inhale, lift your left arm high. This is our fallen triangle. Now, this might be enough. If you want to take it an extra level, pull your right hip back. Inhale, lift that right leg off the mat. Exhale, let it come down. We do that two more times. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, come down. One more time. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, come down. Allow your left hand to come back to the mat. Inhale, reach that right leg high, three-legged dog. And exhale, step through between your hands. From here, we move right into our pyramid. So inhale, shift your weight forward. Step your left foot in slightly, setting up for where we've been before. Inhale, find length through your spine. Exhale, fold. Right hip pulls back. Now keep breathing here. Only about two more breaths this time. On your next inhale, find a halfway lift, lengthen. Now take your left hand, place it outside of that right foot. If this ends up being too challenging, you can keep it inside of your foot or pop it up on a block. Lots of different options here. Once that hand is placed, inhale, reach your right fingertips high, start to look up towards that right hand. This is our revolved triangle, our Parita Trikonasana. Keep pulling your right hip back. Find that stability in the legs. Link through the spine. Core stays strong. Two more breaths. Now, here's your challenge. Shift your gaze back towards your right foot. From here, start to bend your right knee. Slide your left foot back. You might need to tuck your right arm around your leg, or left arm around the right leg, to find a revolved low lunge. So this is going to be challenging. If you need to come to your fingertips to create a little more space, you can. But find that stability by pulling your inner thighs towards each other. Engage your adductors. Now final challenge from here. See if you can bring your hands to heart center, finding a revolved crescent lunge. So you're still using that oppositional force, elbow into the knee. You're still engaging your back leg. Shift your gaze down towards your right foot. 
From here, we step our left leg forward, finding a revolved chair pose. So take a little bend, little leap of faith here, step it forward. The faster you go, the easier it is. So now we're in that revolved chair. So bend those legs, pull your left hip and knee back. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, side crow. So I'll show this from the side so you guys can see if it's new for you. Allow both hands to come towards the right side of your body. Plant both hands nice and strong. You might need to bend those knees a lot. Now, first version of side crow is you shift your weight towards your hands, tuck both elbows under your body. So the more advanced version is one elbow out. Here we'll brace with both elbows. Now shift your weight forward. Maybe you float a foot, maybe you float both feet. Wherever you are, keep breathing. Low abs engaged, keep hugging the elbows towards each other. One more inhale, one more exhale. Gently make your way back to your feet. And we'll all square off at the top of our mat. Forward fold. Pedal out the legs for a minute if you need to. Take a deep breath. And from here, bring your feet back to touch if they're not already. Inhale, find a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, vinyasa. Plant the palms, move through your flow. Take two big breaths here. And now we get to go left. So inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, crunch, knee to the nose. Inhale, lift it high again. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Here's that chance at running man. So come in, find that chaturanga. Tuck your elbow under your body. Lift your back leg. Maybe you straighten your front leg. Wherever you are, can you hold it for one more breath? Plant your back leg. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Three-legged dog. As you exhale, it's left knee to right tricep. Cross your body. Now extend that leg, place your foot on the mat. Inhale, reach your arms high, fall in triangle. Now maybe you stay here. If you went for the challenge on the first side, pull your hip back and inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, let it land. Two more times, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, let it land. Final time, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, let it land. And inhale, three-legged dog. Hand comes down, leg lifts high. As you exhale, step through between the hands. From here, shift your weight forward, setting up for that pyramid pose. So right foot steps forward, both legs straighten. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Regulate your breath here. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Only one more breath. Inhale, walk your hands forward, find a halfway lift. Now take your right hand, place it outside of your left foot. If you took a different version of your revolved triangle on the first side, you can go for it here. So maybe that's a hand still inside of the foot, maybe it's on a block. Once your hand is placed, inhale, reach your left fingertips high. Open that chest towards the side of your mat. Try to look up towards that left hand. Keep your legs strong, root your feet down into the floor. You can always stagger your feet a little bit more if you want a little more stability. That helps a lot. Now keep your low abs strong. You have two more breaths. Final inhale. Now we know what's coming. Here comes all those twisted transitions. So maybe you come up to your fingertips already if you know you need that space. As you exhale, little bend in that leg. Start to slide your right foot back really gently. Maybe come to those fingertips to create extra space. Keep reaching that left hand long. Don't tip over like I almost just did. Now keep pressing that hand into the foot or hand into the knee. From here, see if you can bring your hands to heart center. Revolved crescent lunge. Keep pressing that elbow into the knee. Make sure your knee doesn't cave in. One more inhale here. Shift your gaze down towards that left foot. Leap of faith. Exhale, step that foot forward. Revolve chair. Drop those hips down nice and low. Pull your right hip and knee back so that both knees are in line. Extend the arms as you inhale. Then exhale, side crow. So both hands come down to the floor, to the side of your body. You might come down really low in your legs. Tuck both elbows underneath you. Start to shift your weight forward. 
maybe hover your feet. Those elbows are a great source of support here. So keep breathing. Two more breaths. Final inhale. Exhale, both feet come down. Take a forward fold. Pedal out through the feet, one knee at a time. Let this feel really good. Now we only have a couple more pushes here. Like I said, it's a challenging class today. Lots of arm balances, lots of mobility work. So bring your feet to about hip width distance. We're gonna skip a vinyasa, this will feel good. So once those feet are to hip width distance, allow your left hand to come to the mat, bend your left knee, and inhale, reach your right fingertips high. So we're finding a simple twist here. If it feels good, you can even bring your legs a little wider. From here, maybe you take a right hand half bind into that left hip crease. Now, if you're working on Bird of Paradise or it's in your practice, here is our chance. So that right hand is going across behind your back. Left hand reaches underneath to grab that hand. From here, toe heel your right foot underneath your face. So we want to have a centered, centered of gravity right from the beginning. Now start to lift your back. So as you do that, you're going to notice your arms pulling on your left thigh. That's a good thing. We want to keep that oppositional force. Now keep lifting your back. Keep pushing your leg down until you bring your chest all the way up. From here, that might be enough. Maybe you straighten that leg. Maybe you start to hinge forward finding that little tilted bird. I don't know what it's even called. If you tilt it, inhale, bring your body back to center. Now here's the challenge, you guys. You have to make your way down the way you came up. So bend that left leg first, shift your gaze to the floor, start to bend into that right leg. Left leg comes all the way down, keep your bind. Inhale, release both hands, and exhale, bring your hand down to the mat. Take a moment. Pedal out through the feet, we get to do that on the other side. So from here, feet come back to the middle, right hand comes underneath the face, inhale, left fingertips reach high, find that twist in your body, maybe take a half bind to help open your chest a little bit more, and that will set up for our bird on this side. So shift your gaze down, right hand reaches underneath that right leg, give yourself a handshake, that's your first step here. Now toe heel that left foot in underneath your face. Give yourself a good center of gravity. Now come to those right toes. You'll feel your weight shift to the left leg. Start to lift your back. You'll notice the oppositional force of arms into your right leg. Keep lifting your back. Keep pressing your leg down. From there, stand it all the way up. Maybe you straighten your right leg. Keep that force, arms to leg, leg to arm. Maybe you tip those hips. If you tipped, come back up, back the way we went. So bend that right leg, gaze goes down, shift your weight down towards the floor, keep your bind, and inhale, reach the arms long, exhale, hands come to the mat. Cha-cha those legs for a second, shake it out. From here, bring your feet to about mat width distance, heels come in, toes go out, we set up for our yogi squat, our malasana. So bend those knees, drop the hips down nice and low, now this one, if this is a position that's a little uncomfortable for you, you can slide a pillow or a blanket, take a seat right on that block maybe, and elbows come to those inner thighs. We use them to press open. Sometimes taking a seat on the block is really nice anyways, just as a little rest, so I encourage giving it a try. That gaze can shift down towards your fingers. Just breathe. Take about three more breaths here. Final inhale. Exhale, gently release your hands down to the mat. Straighten those legs and bring your block out from underneath you if you used one. Bring your feet back to touch underneath you on your mat. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, final vinyasa of your practice. Plant those palms, move through your flow. Reconnect with that breath.
From here, bring your gaze forward. Walk your hands in a little bit if you're trying to jump through, this is the time. Lift your heels off that mat, bend your knees a lot. Take an exhale here at the bottom of the exhale. Shift your weight forward, see if you can hover, then float it to the floor. We made it to a seat, you guys. So take a deep breath, a little bit more to go, and then we're out of here. So setting up for Paschimottanasana. Bring your legs together, flex your feet nice and strong. Make sure those legs are active. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, keep this length, fold forward from the hips. Now we're keeping this active today. So use your hands to really pull your chest forward. If you don't have a belly to thigh connection, think about reaching the top of your head and your collarbone towards your toes. So just like that pyramid pose, we're looking to lengthen the spine, not to round the spine. Pull your pinky toes back towards you, the outsides of your feet pull back. Notice the stretch in your calves as you work into this position. Take about four more breaths. Each exhale, you pull a little bit more with your arms. Final inhale here. As you exhale, release your arms. If you have yoga blocks by you, throw them by your sides. This will come in handy. So plant your hands behind you, fingertips facing forward, feet come to the mat. Inhale, lift your hips up, find a reverse tabletop position here. That head can drop back if it feels good. Take another inhale. As you exhale, hips come down. Plant your hands by your sides or on those blocks. We're coming right into a little L-sit here. So straighten your arms, send your hips back behind you, straighten the legs, flex the feet, maybe lift them off the mat. Take another breath, inhale. And exhale, release all the way to a seat. Just a little engagement between stretches. From here, we'll go left side first. Draw your left knee into your chest. Let your knee fall open to the side, sole of the foot to the inner thigh. Setting up for our Parvita Janushishasana. So flex your right toes nice and strong. That leg stays active. Allow your right hands to come inside of that leg. Coming down to your elbow if it's available. Inhale, reach your left fingertips high. Spiral your chest open towards the side. As you exhale, start to reach your left hand towards your right foot. Sometimes it can feel good to actually let your right hand come to that left knee for a little leverage. Wherever you go, make sure your chest doesn't roll forward. So we're aiming to really open the chest, left side stacks over right. Three more breaths. Next inhale, left fingertips bring you all the way back up. Plant your left hand behind you, shift your weight to your knee and shin, come into a little gate latch here, so open the chest towards the ceiling, find that gentle back bend, one more inhale. As you exhale, lower your hips down to the mat, straighten both legs out in front of you, we'll move right to the other side. So draw your right knee in, let the knee fall open, sole of the foot to the inner thigh. This time it's the left hand that comes inside of the leg, come down to your elbow if you did that on the first side. Inhale, reach your right fingertips high, open through the chest. Exhale, reach them towards the toes to create that deep side bend. Maybe left hand comes to the right knee if that feels good. Maybe you grab that foot if it's available to you. That can feel really nice. Take about four breaths here. Spiral your right side open over the left. Keep your abs engaged. Give your lower back that support. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, right fingertips bring you all the way back up. Plant your palm to the side of your body. Shift your weight to your knee and shin. Come into that gate latch. So open the chest towards the ceiling. Gentle back bend. Take one more inhale. And exhale, come back down. Both hips come to the mat. From here, final reverse tabletop and L-sit. So grab those blocks. Place them by your sides if you used them. Hands come behind you. Feet come to the mat. Inhale, lift the hips up. Find that deep opening through the shoulders, through the front of the body. One more inhale here. As you exhale, maybe you don't use the blocks and you slide your hips back and just lift. We're here for another inhale. And exhale, release. Let those hips lower down. 
Slide your blocks out to the side. Now keep your legs straight in front of you. Activate them. Reach your arms forward. Start to curve through your spine nice and slow all the way down to your back. Really articulate through every vertebra. Once you reach your back, draw both knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Rock side to side. And allow both feet to come to the floor about hip width distance, setting up for our bridge pose. Allow your hands to come by your sides, palms facing down, feet root nice and deep into the floor. As you inhale, lift your pelvis, find a long line from your knees down to your neck. You might tuck your shoulders underneath you. You might interlace the fingers, finding a clasp of the hands. Imagine you're simultaneously squeezing a block between your legs and pressing outward against a resistance band around your thighs. So we want that full activation of the legs. Take another inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, gently untuck the shoulders, articulate through the spine nice and slow. Let your feet come a little wider, let both knees fall in towards each other. Take a moment here. And gently bring your feet back to center. From here, extend your right leg to the ceiling. Bring your right ankle to your left knee. We'll find our figure four, so thread your right arm through. Draw your legs into your chest. Notice if your tailbone popped off the floor. See if you can lengthen it back down again. You can close your eyes here if it feels good. We're finally at the kind of relaxing part of our practice, so embrace that breath. Each exhale is a chance for you to release a little deeper into the hips. Take about five more breaths. Final inhale. And as you exhale, keep your feet in your figure four shape. Just let your left foot come back to the mat. From here, allow your arms to come to your sides, palms facing down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep the figure four shape and let both legs fall to the left side. So that right foot will eventually plant on the mat. You can always pull it back a little bit. Here we're creating a gentle, gentle twist in the spine as well as opening through the side of the leg. I like to take my left hand to my right ankle and kind of press my knee away from me. It gives me a nice stretch into the outside of the leg. If you want to complete your twist, let your gaze fall to the right side. We have about 10 breaths here. Five more breaths. Inhale, gently bring your head back to center. Bring your legs back to center. Unwind the legs, draw both knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug for a moment. Just rock side to side, maybe make circles with your knees. Let everything neutralize. Allow both feet to come to the floor. From here, it's left ankle to right knee, setting up for figure four. So thread your left arm through, draw your legs in towards you, grabbing under the hamstring or over the shin, whatever feels good. And again, close your eyes. 
Feel the whole length of your spine imprint into the mat so that tailbone's nice and heavy. It didn't pop off the floor. You can always press your knee away from you with your left elbow if that feels good. Take about five more deep, slow breaths here. Inhale here. As you exhale, release your legs. Let them come to the floor. So right foot steps down. You're still in that figure four shape. Arms come out to the sides of the body, palms facing down. Inhale. And exhale, both legs come to the right side of the body, finding your figure four supine twist. So make whatever adjustments you need. Maybe you decrease the angle in your hips a little. You might pull your right hand to that left ankle and press your knee away from you a little bit to give yourself a nice stretch through the outside of the leg. And then if you did so on the first side, let your gaze fall to the left and close your eyes. You have 10 deep, slow breaths here. Last couple breaths. Inhale, gently bring your head back to center. And then bring your legs back to center. And draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice happy baby. So grab your hands around the outsides or insides of your feet. Gently rock side to side. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the floor. Maybe you straighten one leg then the other. Give yourself a nice stretch in the inner thighs. Wherever you choose to go, take about three more breaths. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, start to squeeze into a tiny little ball. So lift your shoulders off the mat, tuck your chin into your chest, flex or point those feet, whatever feels right. I want you to create as much tension, as much squeeze in your body as is humanly possible. Squeeze in all the stress, squeeze in any extra energy, any extra tension that you're holding on to. All right here for one more inhale. And exhale, release. Shavasana. Allow your legs to extend long onto the mat. Allow your arms to release by your sides, palms facing up. Close your eyes. Let go of everything we've done in this practice. Anything else you're still holding on to. If any thoughts come into the mind, you let them pass. Your breath finds its natural rhythm. Your eyes fall back into the socket. Your jaw unclenches. Your tongue falls, falls away from the roof of your mouth. And imagine that your body is heavy and that there are tree roots growing out of the back of you. On each exhale, these roots grow a little bit deeper and pull you deeper into the floor.
After a few breaths, those roots have grown so deep that you're fully grounded into the earth. You no longer have to hold yourself up at all. And today I'll leave you here in this Shavasana. When you choose to come out of it, make sure you do so slowly, starting with your breath and then small movements. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I am bringing my hands to heart center. The light within me meets, greets, and honors the light within you. And until we see each other again, namaste. As I said, please take your time. As always, any contributions, if you enjoyed this class, you're welcome at paypal.me slash carolinefitness. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again, everyone.